hello friends hope you all are doing good and uh, this is something i was trying to avoid uh, for long regarding the hiring freeze and recessions and like couple of weeks back i had a discussion with manohar batra also so he also indicated the uh, same kind of thing but uh, i don't want to like scare people and uh, like give negativity so that's why like i was trying to avoid this topic but still like uh, recently i have seen such things so i came to the conclusion that uh, this is the real thing and like uh, the best part is that we have to keep ourselves prepared and uh, after that like uh, whatever happen happens okay so let's see uh, what is happening right now in the market and how is the job scenario and everything and uh, in the end we'll discuss that how we can cope up uh, with the same okay so firstly we have to see that uh, why are we heading towards recession and what's the uh, like reason behind it so recession is in kind of economic slowdown okay so what what why is it why is it happening is because um, just after covid so now everything will be divided based on uh, pre covid and post covid okay so this is the year 2020 21 so after covid like as like if you, if i tell you in very simple terms like you have got the ip of zomato okay they have raised a huge capital so when they when they are raising such huge capital they are obviously going to uh, like pay their engineers more similarly like there was a ip of paytm so all these new age tech they have raised uh, like huge amounts and similarly when like paytm is paying more uh, to their developers but this is not like 100% true because paytm don't pay that much but still like uh, for example let's take that if one organization start giving that much amount then obviously it uh, like creates pressure on the other organizations to match the offer okay because everyone wants to retain the talent and similarly there was a tech crunch also so just after after covid there was a tech crunch and uh, like organizations are running behind candidates to join and in the same time they are uh, offering like apart from the ctc fixed ctc uh, like huge bonus so i have heard like there were organizations who were offering bmw bikes like it happened after after covid so like everything has like uh, has to come to an end so what is happening right now is that as you can see the like the share prices so everything is interrelated like economics political geography everything is uh, some kind of interrelated so like if we see from the point of economy like netflix share is going down although there are a couple of more reasons but still uh, if you see facebook like first time in the like in the, in, in a decade their user base is going down if you see any organization okay if you see zomato also like the ipo was of uh, at 130 and right now it is near about 60 and it has dipped to 50 also if you see paytm this was like listed at 2100 although this is not an ipo or trading class but uh, just to give you an example that how much uh, cash crunch uh, they have they are facing and uh, if share market goes down it like it create it creates a ripple effect okay so this is like the economy and like huge pumping of money so if you see us was at like generally uh, the inflation like this year was at around 7 to 8% i'm not sure about this part but still like it it is really like uh, really bad the inflation part okay so us inflation plus like huge pumping of money huge money pump artificial money pump so if anything is value 100 uh, rupees and uh, someone is going to buy at 500 then obviously like uh, someone is going to lose 400 rupees okay the guy who has uh, who is currently buying that so you can yourself uh, see so one of the reason is that now there is a crunch of funds and because of that 
like uh, they have to either uh, like hold the offers or hiring freeze okay and we will we will see it here that recently google has announced that a two week hiring freeze so there was a, uh, a two week hiring freeze at google and uh, their ceo sundar pichai also announced that uh, we were uh, like uh, uh, the amount of work they have and the headcount so headcount is more than the amount of work uh, at google so they are accessing um, assessing their policies and all that similarly at microsoft also and couple of big organizations also there was like either they have stopped hiring or and in between that also if you see like byju's and a uh, couple of more uh, like i there was this organization coins uh, coin dcx and binance binance like i don't know how to pronounce it but this organization also like they rolled out whatever the offer they gave they rolled out the offers like took it back so that's really a bad situation okay so now the problem start like where the problem start so let's say if we have 100 people okay and uh, 20 is a big amount let's say 10 10 people are um, are going to join uh, google or let's say microsoft or let's say fang although it is mang now so okay so 10 like really cream and uh, top notch uh, students um, they wanted to join mang but now they have stopped the hiring so where they will go they will go to like low product base organizations okay and uh, let's say publish a sapient adobe and all those organizations samsung so all the crowd uh, which earlier used to go there will apply here and they will like take the seats now what will happen those guys uh, who are deserving to go here will now settle for service based organization let's say tcs infi okay i'm not saying like um, one is another like good than another but you yourself are uh, like uh, quite comfortable and uh, you yourself know that obviously product base and good like you cannot compare google with tcs okay so that way like it creates a ripple effect so those guys who want to join here will join here and uh, those who deserve to join here will join here so everyone like goes once once down a step and those guys uh, who will be joining here will uh, like nowhere uh, they don't have uh, like any way to go okay so this is the thing now like couple of negativity and let's see what we can do as a as a engineer or as a student what we have to do first thing is that no matter like if it is a recession no recession whatever like if it is a good phase bad phase keep upgrading your uh, skills i don't i know it sounds very easy but it is uh, parallelly like uh, difficult to keep because once you are comfortable in your team in your position so like you have to keep in mind this thing and um, like four days back only i have uh, made a video of, of like cheap udemy like i'll not say cheap uh, but like couple of udemy courses so you can check them out and see uh, like uh, what next skill you can take so let's say you are done with automation so like go with api or learn cloud okay so you got my point so keep upgrading yourself and uh, even if you are in manual testing so stay relevant by staying relevant i mean if you are uh, let's say today you have got a requirement that okay your client will be migrating to cloud or let's say they are planning to automate the things so like uh, prepare beforehand and uh, once things comes and your client says to you that okay we have to do this poc so beforehand uh, you start like preparing for the same and that way it will uh, help you so by staying relevant will not uh, like it will help you to keep your job but also grow in your job like you will get good appraisals and uh, like who doesn't like good appraisal right so that's it guys you don't have to worry much uh, like 
even if you are planning to like switch in the recent uh, times or you are planning to switch in uh, like uh, next couple of months so i'll not say like hold uh, your planning but at the same time keep preparing but like you can get few calls okay you have to put in more efforts so like that's only i can tell you okay don't um, like stop trying but at the same time don't get disheartened uh, even if you not getting call okay because like this is the situation which i have explained here okay so that's it guys and uh, like there is a famous quote uh, which i want to discuss that if us uh, sneezes the world catches cold uh, so as you know like if you have if you have a cold then your whole family um, gets this cold so if dollar stumbles so um, the world economy is uh, like either directly or indirectly dependent on the us dollar and uh, like that's a topic for another video but uh, like i really like this quote and this is uh, really what happening right now that the inflation rates is going up in us and because of this is also one of the reasons that we are heading towards recession okay and uh, that's it guys if you have any doubt just comment on below and uh, also just to uh, give you a reminder that i have like last month uh, cleared my aws exam and if you need the notes i'll link uh, down that uh, video uh, and uh, very soon i'm planning to release those uh, those notes on the linkedin so if you're not following me following me on on linkedin so just follow me over there that's it guys you all have a nice day thanks thanks for watching